Hello guys, welcome to another brand new video and I'm back on Formula 1 for this video today and we're going to do a sprint mode championship. Now if you're not familiar with the sprint mode championship, I'll run through the basics for you right now. You choose your team, here I've chosen Red Bull and Max Verstappen's car, which means the team is going to be Ricardo. And you go through a sprint mode championship full of 5 laps through the races they select. So Japan for this race. Now you sign a random position in your first race and then from the races after you start in a position which you are in the championship but reversed so the leader of the championship will start at the back second in the championship will second second at the back and so on so on so on so we're gonna a first race is japan and we're in the red bull for this race and yeah i don't know how this is exactly going to go i did show you what assist i'm running on and what difficulty i am running on just to give you an insight of what i actually go through or how I actually play this game. Yes, before you complain, I do have the racing line on. But, you know, everyone's not brilliant at the game. So, we're going on in the Red Bull, five last run, and we are going out in Japan, and we are going to race towards turn one with Grosjean on the right. They've got Raikkonen steaming down on the inside of Grosjean. We're going to go up the inside of McLaren, and we're, <laughs> we're off in the first corner off in the first corner and we're now we're behind Lewis Hamilton great start absolutely fantastic start we got a uh, Salba on the inside but he's not going to challenge us and then we're going to go through legit legit blah, 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 blah. can't even speak honestly my worst track I cannot race around Japan I do love the track but I just can't race around it as you know to say like Monaco is my love is my most hated track which is uh which most people do like Monaco which I do not understand I just cannot race well yeah that's probably the reason I just can't race on it so but let's have a chit chat. We are going to be approaching Lewis Hamilton. We're going to go for a dive bomb up, up the inside of Lewis Hamilton. Trying to overtake Madison as well. We're going to get near the bang wheels there on the exit of the corner. And now we're going to be stuck behind him now as we go swooping right around. No, but we've got a better slipstream pulling out the corner. We're going to pull out from Magnuson, overtake him. And we're going to look on the inside. No, we're going to keep it calm. We're going to keep it patient on the McLaren that's into the points now as we're going to chase down the McLaren this should be easy easy pickings it's like taking candy from a baby baby which will get you a massive slap from the the mother of the child and you can actually go you know you'll be kicked in the balls for that but now we approach the the final chicane we have behind the Ferrari which we was in front of the Ferrari and yeah that just shows our progress is we've been going backwards or we've been going forwards well yeah or both but that's the end of the first lap two now still in the same position we're going to skip ahead though we don't want to see you know racing by ourselves we want to see the boring master just born break we're going to go straight into the action and we are still approaching Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari and we are going to go into the corner we're going to nearly touch the Ferrari we do touch the Ferrari into the corner we're giving a little bit of shove from behind and that is not a sexual reference at all we nearly pumped him straight off the track which would have given us a massive penalty and we're going to cut to the chase V chase between the Ferrari and the Renault and now the Ferrari's got ahead of the Renault we're going to try and do the same we're going to try and follow suit we're going to go down the straight try and we nearly bang wheels we bang wheels actually contact there we went to the first corner we're going to overtake him we're going to we're going to overtake him but we've gone wide into the corner and Jolly and Palmer will take that position back and we will have to try and follow him through the S's and then we go through the S's following him through not really get anywhere near him to be honest he's actually kind of getting away from us which is not good at all as we are in the red but we should be much quicker than the Renault through the S's we really need to step on our game here we are in red ball this is realistic cars we've gone slightly wide got a bit got a bit twitchy on the exit there or too much curb we have a feisty husk behind us of Magnussen but he's not going to challenge us into the herping so that is absolutely fine by me as you see yep we're in a Red Bull, we really need to be pressing on here. We really need to be higher up. We're chasing Dan, the Renner in front of us. But we just seem, we just can't seem to catch up to him. Like, he's, he's just, he's just pulling away at every opportunity. So, we need to step our game up. And this is going to be the end of lap three after the chicane. And we've sort of halted in our progress towards the, towards the front. We haven't made much progress in the last two laps. Which is not bad, at least we're in the points, at least we can safely say 
we're going to pick up some sort of pointage in this race. Set up us nicely. Although we should have been higher up, we did start in a good position. But no, things happen. This is Formula One. This is racing. This sort of stuff happened. But we have caught up to the back of the Renault through the S's and well, through to turn one into the S's. And now we need to keep on him until we get to the straight. We've lost, yet again, lost a few grounds to the Renault. But let's ignore all of that because we have more pressing concerns. Lewis Hamilton is going to go up the inside of us through 130 yard, a very fast left-hander. Two a breath into the corner. We do make contact and we're going to go into the chicane. Hopefully in front, we're going to nearly take out Fernando Alonso on the inside. That was aggressive. And luckily, the experienced head of Fernando Alonso saw us coming down the inside and voided collision. And we are cutting to the last lap. We're still behind a Renault, still behind Palmer in his Grand Prix, but we're catching him. Is this the same Renault? Yeah, I think it's the same Renault. I've lost track, to be honest. But nonetheless, it's a Renault, and we are in seventh place. And this is going to be too wide again if we can get the right amount of pace. The right amount of slipstream down this straight. And we're going to go into the left hand corner, two abreast. And we're going to go up the inside into the final chicane. Outbreak the Palmer. Outbreak the Palmer. Yeah, that's good English. He's still out there on the inside, but we got the, the inside for the next corner. And that is point taken in sixth place. Coming across the line. Decent amount of points for the first race. Could have been a lot better, but that's that. And Daniel Ricciardo, our teammate, have won the Japanese Grand Prix. Really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks... Why they're showing us a cutscene of Roman Grosjean, I do not know. Probably because we had... And I can see a few belts. drivers are making their way out. We need Red Bull fighting at the front. They do an incredible amount for Formula One. And that's another winner's trophy heading back to Milton Keynes. So there we have it. Sixth place. And it's going to be sixth place in the championship, obviously. So we have Pascal Verlein on pole. You're not going to see that very often, so make the most of it. And now we have four laps, we have five laps, and we are held for a very long time. Now we are underway. We are Johnny and Palmer on the left. We've seen some battles in Suzuka, and we're going to battle with him again. We're going to switch to the inside. We're going to go and get blocked off by the Huss into the first corner in front of us. Alonso's getting squeezed by the two cars. And we're going to get re-overtaken by Palmer into that second phase of the corner. But we're going to go try and out-drag him up the straight into turn four. And it looks like we've, get, we've got him. And we're going to break, hopefully not avoiding or avoiding the McLaren and the Haas in front of us. Which we do nicely. But here we go. Slipstream of the McLaren Honda. And that is just disgraceful how slow that, how slow the Honda is on the straight. And we're going to, we go, we've touched the Huss again. We always seem to be touching Huss's, or Hass pronunciation. Always seem to be touching Hass's in these races. And we're going to dive up the inside. Hopefully make it stick. And we should do constantly the sun's in our face around these, around these phases of corners. And we're going to be right behind Lewis Hamilton for the straight. Hopefully pick up a good slipstream. Good exit. Come on. Down the straight. Lewis is going to be too far in front of us to challenge. Although, it's, there's still a long way to go. This is the end of the first lap and we have made it to a decent position in this Grand Prix so far. And we're going to cut to the chase. And <laughs> that, was going to be, that was going to be disgraceful cornering. So, yeah, backed out of that one as you do. Lewis Hamilton's gone up the inside of Grosjean and banging wheels with Grosjean. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Hopefully dive up the inside of Grosjean, which we do. Yet again, the sun's in our face. But we make it stick. And for the second race, for second lap, sorry, in a row, we are going to be right behind Lewis Hamilton. Although we are much, much closer to Lewis Hamilton. So now we can get a full effect of slipstream gaining ever so quickly, which is good. And we're going to, get, we're going to overtake the McLaren in the in the process of overtaking Lewis Hamilton down the straight and that is a David Coulthard moment at Brazil when he overtook Michael Schumacher I think it was 
with a black mark with a back marker and that is us battling away with Lewis Hamilton again we always seem to be battling away with Lewis Hamilton down the straight he was feisty on the inside we're going to try and block him and that should be position held but no we've gone wide and Lewis Hamilton's going to go back up the inside and we have lost a position to Lewis Hamilton well Lewis Hamilton retook the position which we took from him Ah, now that's frustrating, but we're going to go dive up the inside. He brake break checked me so, so quickly. I did not expect it, but I've gone up the inside. But now he's, he's still there. Lewis Hamilton, he makes a mistake. I need a collider. I had no room to overtake him. I'm not going to go for a dive bomb too far back for a dive bomb. It's just going to cause so many problems. So now we cut again to Lewis Hamilton on the next lap, on lap four. We're going to dive up the inside of Lewis Hamilton, and we're going to get our elbows out. The cheeky cut corner cheeky corner cut which we let him go because that was going to be an illegal overtake we want to do try and do things fairly as possible and that is another dive bomb up the inside and we're going to get elbows out again and force him off or force him out of room on the outside of the corner uh, they break so early <laughs> they break so so early and it just catches you on just uh just catches you out you know but again, we are behind. We always seem to be fighting with Hamilton and Arena <laughs> all the time. Just these, these cars. Are we going to do another two overtakes on the straight into the first corner? And yes, we do. Although one of them was a Salva. It should have been easy pickings doing overtaking a Salva on the straight. But we do overtake our engine supplier or engine primary supplier team. If you can get my words out. And that is another Salbot which is going to go overtake. And he makes a mistake. All got forced wide by the car in front. And we're going to cut to a very, very decent race. A very good race. And look at the cars piling through on the line. <laughs> Just, wow. So that is that. Decent Grand Prix. Decent finish. And a Ferrari has won the Brazilian Grand Prix. But that does not matter. Our championship is what matters. So there you have it guys, 6th place for the Brazilian Grand Prix and 6th place for the Japanese Grand Prix also. And that's going to be all for this video for today. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more Sprint Mode content, be sure to like and subscribe, you know what to do. And if you have watching this day or night, have a good night, have a good day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.